and this is the Tri Brigade Bujin deck profile built for Seth. Uh, it's up here. This video is pretty much just for you. So, uh, three the good Bujins, the beast ones. You could change up whatever. This is kind of what Nick said to play. I don't know Bujins that well. Uh, Hiroko, it's an option. You can cut him if needs be. He's okay. Um, you got triple fractal, triple Keras, uh, triple kit, double Nerval because you'll loop it with that if it needs to be. Outside of that, you don't need more than two. Uh, he's just a free body, that's why he's at three. Avian, um, you know, some more link. Triple, triple. Desire is actually not that bad because most of this is three ofs. Uh, the only thing you really don't want to hit is two of these, and most of the time you won't hit those. Um, so, Tri Brigade Rendezvous is literally just so a uh, spell you can dump with Kit if you can already dump Nerval in some other way. Or, like, you know, late turn or something like that. Rendezvous will uh, protect any of your linked, uh, the Tri Type monsters in the graveyard from destruction. So, you can protect Avian if it's, you know, under some org. Uh, so, Call by the Grave, obviously. You can actually play Imperial Order very well in this deck. Uh, Revolt, it's not your main strategy, it's just a good one of. Uh, triple Imperm. If you don't have Imperm, I'd recommend either Chalice or um, you could also just play Judgments over them. Something like that might work. Uh, and then Triple Strike. This strike's just good right now. Uh, Links, All Mirage is just mandatory. This one's kind of eh. It's up to you on this one. It just kind of helps you make rank fours if needs be. If not him or that, probably just one of those two. Uh, Farajit, obviously. Barabam just for the revolt or if needs a very random rendezvous because it is a quick play you can play in the damage step uh pretty much dd crow uh some more link obviously banishers appaloosa uh rank fours i'd probably play at least dweller you don't have to play tornado dragon it's an option uh these three are the only three i really played uh mostly because he gets you dead tri brigades in your hand to the graveyard to activate their effects and this one potentially mills him. The only awkward bit is he doesn't work with Tarfood. Um, and Susanoo is, you know, it's the one that keeps attacking. Uh, and then Zeus. So, and then this is kind of meh. I just put it here as just an option. Boral Sword, if you're going to cut anything, uh, you could probably do the Ahashima or the Tornado Dragon for it if you want an OTK. He's meh in this deck. The, the one he can bring back just doesn't help in the long run. Uh, barrier statue, if you're going to swap anything, I'd probably say like Rendezvous, uh, Hiroko, uh, we can probably even do a Keras if really, on or, or Kit, in all honesty. Um, Ash is Ash, it's just an option if you want to put it in there. Uh, Redoer, I'd only play if you're playing uh, Shade Brigadine, it's just a level 4 Dark Warrior, but it's a trap. Um, it helps you just, you know, keep bouncing stuff every turn with your opponent, or at least once. And then, uh, yeah, so another good one that works with Tsukiyomi is uh, Photon Thrasher. It's a light monster, it's a level 4, and it's a free special summon. Uh, so it works with literally all of this. Uh, Dryden Span, uh, just, just very recent. So uh, if you were going to play this, it'd pretty much be the one Barbo, one Whip Tail, and the one Barrage, so you just poke for Zeus. Uh, Avarice, you dump like everything into the graveyard, so Avarice is pretty good. And then obviously Chalice is an option. So uh, that's pretty much it for the deck profile. Uh, if you have any questions, message me. But yeah.